When looking at these images, what do you see? Do you see a connection between them? Or features they share in common? If you answered emptiness, scary, or strange yet familiar, you would be absolutely correct, as these photographs are of something called liminal spaces. Derived from the Latin word limen, which translates to English as threshold, a liminal space can be defined as a transitional or crossing over space that is most likely difficult or an easy to understand or tolerate. Such spaces have been around since the dawn of life. However, the term has been gaining in popularity recently, thanks to a special friend we call the internet. But in this modern day, the acknowledgement of liminal spaces is something that makes both reality and internet media scarier specifically in video games and creepypastas. Let's first start off with the popular horror video game franchise, Silent Hill. If you've ever played these games, you would understand the feeling of loneliness and dread the atmosphere gives off. You literally explore an abandoned town and the structures it harbors all while an eerie fog obstructs your ability to see beyond what you're meant to see. This parking lot, the rest stop beside it, this path, and the deserted town, they all share that feeling of emptiness, where in another time, these spaces were kept up, housed people, and had life. But now, it's just a shell of its former self. Your character wanders these locations, while you, the player, feel uneasy at these familiar sights being devoid of life. You wander alone, always on edge from something that may or may not jump out at you. It feels strange, nothing is the same as it used to be. And that, my viewers, is a prime example of liminal spaces in video games. The same can be compared to games such as Night Shift, No Players Online, and even Minecraft to an extent. Basically, any temporary space that feels lonely and isn't meant to be, could theoretically be a liminal space. And if you were to compare locations like these to the real world, you would find ghost towns, empty groceries, and playgrounds with no children, no doubt giving you the same effect as their video game counterparts. But these games are programmed to scare us, so let's move on to an example from recent media that is a little more enigmatic. I'm sure most of you have heard of a place called The Backrooms. If not, The Backrooms is a creepypasta-esque internet legend about a series of endless corridors simulating an empty office building. It's described as possessing a moist carpet smell, buzzing fluorescent lighting, and monotone yellow walls, something that most viewers, maybe even yourselves, have agreed on in remembering or relating to in one way or another. But if we set the monsters and creepypasta lore aside, and simply look at the photo regardless of context, it's still a liminal space. You see, we are meant to be witnessing something else. Maybe an office room, with people working away at their desks. Some even chatting in the back, with their cups of coffee. But we experience none of that here. The chatter and commotion of humans is absent, even though a room like this would have been built specifically for them. Now it's only the bare bones and nothing else but the hum buzz of the lights and that eerie sensation of something feeling off. 
a ghost of its former self, if you will. But of course, such spaces don't just exist in fiction. You've probably come across them many times. Most likely, even very recently. Have you ever been in your school after hours? If so, you've then experienced a liminal space. You probably noticed the halls and classrooms where countless children were once wandering are now met with complete emptiness, an almost solitude, yet unnatural experience. The same phenomenon can be applied to other spaces, such as waiting rooms, shopping marts, and any other location that is meant to be busy but no longer is. An empty stairwell or elevator could also be considered a liminal space, as they transition you from one common area to the next. The same applies to an empty parking lot, such as the night after visiting the cinema. You had to use that space to transition from a packed movie theater to the comfort of your own home. And that is one of the reasons why liminal spaces unconsciously scare us. But what is the main reason? Well, if you take a look back at these images, do they ignite any memories or lost thoughts? Do they maybe even give you a slight nostalgic taste? If so, this is the exact reason why liminal spaces are undoubtedly scary. This photograph right here of a closed gas station at night is something you most likely drove past at one point or another. It might make you think of yesterday, or even years ago. You could have drove past it on your way home from work, or noticed it on the late night drive with your parents. Or how about this image of a vacant hotel hallway? I'm sure some of you might have memories of this, such as a time when you were dripping water from your swimsuit onto the carpet after swimming all while scurrying back to your hotel room through the air-conditioned corridors. You see, these photos bring us back to a pastime. Even though they aren't your photos, they bring back similar memories. It might even expand into the time you and your family had to move, and you ended up changing schools, thus having to make all new friends again. The memories remembered from gazing at photographs of liminal spaces shows us that not only do these spaces affect physical surroundings, but also the mind. And when such spaces are mixed with our childhood or past memories, they become corrupted, which is the scariest of them all. But in the end, the feelings we acquire from experiencing liminal spaces shouldn't make us feel scared in theory, as we only ever use these spaces in transit. But looking at something that once was something, now reduced to nothingness, is indeed a chilling thought. But hey, who am I to say what you should or shouldn't be afraid of? After all, the internet is full of many terrifying things. But as always, thank you for watching, and good night.